All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. So the Cincinnati Bengals have the 18th pick in the first round of this year's NFL draft, which is less than two weeks away. We're a week away from draft week. And uh, folks, I'm looking at all these mock drafts for the Cincinnati Bengals, who, by the way, the whole NFL league is sleeping on them because they started off a little bit slow, right? In typical Bengals fashion. And right when they start hitting their stride, Joe Burrow, unfortunately goes down with an injury some way somehow shout out to jake browning holding it down uh they still went nine and eight and they were close to making the playoffs and i think that's just very indicative of how good this roster is they did lose a couple of pieces on especially the defensive side of things i know there's a t higgins trade request that's still looming uh but t is going to be back he's going to play the whole season in my opinion for cincinnati this upcoming year they're going to try and draft his replacement they still have a bunch of draft picks. They've got two picks in the third round. They've got their second round pick. You've got four picks in the top 100. And folks, I'm looking at this. Mock, like, I'm looking at all these mock drafts for Cincinnati uh, right now. The or like you know fan votes: 20.5% Byron Murphy, 16.1 Johnny Newton, 11.4 Brock Bowers, and then you know all the offensive tackles. Every single mock draft I've read for Cincinnati in the first round. Uh, it's just perfect. You know, like if they get a player like Byron Murphy, oh my goodness gracious. Uh, folks, I think this defense is still very loaded and you cannot disregard the additions of two specific guys at the safety position in Geno Stone from Baltimore and Von Bell coming back after spending a season with the Carolina Panthers. This defense is still very, very good. I think Miles Murphy is about to break out. Folks, do not fade the Cincinnati Bengals. And Bengals fans, you guys are so funny in the comment section saying, shh, don't tell anybody. Uh, before we get any further into tonight's video, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL videos. We try and post at least one Bengals video every single week. So Bengals fans, if you try and get this video to 250 likes, that would mean the absolute world to me. So the Bengals are kind of in headlines right now because Joe Burrow just said this about the, the Kansas City Chiefs. They have great players. We have great players. I think we match up pretty well with them. We're kind of built to beat them. And it's just crazy, man, because, you know, the Bengals made the Super Bowl a couple of seasons ago where they came back 21 to three in the you know, conference championship game. Unfortunately, a couple of years ago, they were so close to getting back there. Uh, and then you had the Joe Burrow injury last season, which completely derailed them. But guys, this team is still very good. What's crazy is, you know, I know they did lose Joe Mixon, but I think Zach Moss, especially when we saw the Indianapolis Colts with a rookie quarterback in Anthony Richardson and obviously Jonathan Taylor's injury to start last season, Zach Moss was a clear cut running back one. And I think that's just going to carry over very well to Cincinnati. And I think he's going to be a perfect and they're also going to draft the running back at some point. Uh, I also still have hope in their rookie running back from last season and Chase Brown. Uh, but folks, they still have one of the best wide receiver trios in the National Football League. I think, uh, I forget who put it out. Some journalist put it out. You know, the best wide receiver trios in the NFL. The Houston Texans was Stephon Diggs, Nico Collins, Tank Dell. I get it. Number one. Number two, you got the Miami Dolphins. That's up for debate because I know you lost Tyler Boyd. And technically at the time of this recording, Tyler Boyd is still available. Uh, I don't think he's going to come back. You still have at least one more season with T. Higgins, in my opinion. I know there's you know a bunch of contract dispute or a bunch of you know rumblings and rumors. I know he's got the Lumen trade request that's out there, uh, but I don't really know why T. Higgins would not be a member of the Cincinnati Bengals next season uh, for the whole year. So you got Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, and then it gets interesting because every single mock i've read they're going to take a wide receiver at some point right whether that's the second round one of their picks in the third round i think they're probably going to draft at least two wide receivers one sneaky sleeper guy that really feels like only Bengals fan know is trenton irwin this dude every time his number every time his name gets called steps up to the plate and does what he needs to do and gets the job done so they're going to get an intriguing wide receiver three and you're still going to have Trent Irwin 
Now, when we're on the topic, like, by the way, Jamar Chase, top three wide receiver in the NFL. T. Higgins dealt with injuries last season. The whole Bengals season last year, in my opinion, was just a complete and utter wash because, you know, mainly due to the Joe Burrow injury. But, you know, guys got injured all across the board. The only thing, in my opinion, that's holding Cincinnati back from getting back to at least the AFC Championship game this upcoming season is just health. And Joe Burrow is on track. He's looking good, apparently. And uh, he'll be ready to go by week one. So, if you have a healthy Joe Burrow for the whole season, obviously you're making the playoffs and uh, you're going to see a double digit win total. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about their offensive chances. One quick thing I want to mention is, you know, like when we were talking about Brock Bowers being the third, you know, rated first round pick at pick number 18. I don't think Cincinnati should do that. I also saw uh, the draft, you know, mock draft. They take a tight end in the second round. I don't even think any of that's necessarily I do think they will draft a tight end, maybe in the fourth round or fifth round. Uh, but I think anything before round three or before round four, I should say, is a stretch. I think Mike Jasicki is really solid. I also think Drew Sample is really solid. I also like Hudson a lot. I think they have plenty of depth, and I think they have plenty of talent at the tight end position where you know Brock Bowers... I don't think they should do that. I would rather get an offensive lineman um, as opposed to Brock Powers. I think Brock will fall to the late first, but that's just me. So offensively, I know they're going to get some more offensive line depth. I know they're going to draft a wide receiver early on. And then I know they're going to get some more tight end and running back help. So offensively, especially because of Joe Burrow, you're just absolutely set. Uh, defensively, just underrated group and the additions of von bell and geno stone are absolutely huge every single Bengals fan will mention that to you and you still got sam hubbard you still got trey hendrickson coming off a career just monster season that flew under the radar once again because of joe burrow's injury they picked up Shel sheldon rankins trey hendrickson's former teammate the linebacker room is still absolutely loaded with jermaine pratt and logan wilson i've still got rising star cam taylor Britt at the cornerback position, DJ Turner, Mike Hilton, uh, you name it, Dax Hill. This team, they're well coached. They're well ran. They draft very well. And once again, it doesn't take a brain surgeon to recognize this or a rocket scientist. Injuries held them back last season. Obviously, the last couple of years, the Cincinnati Bengals have started their seasons relatively slow, and you don't want to see that continue. Last season, they were 1-3 and three before rattling off four straight games, four straight victories. I just go back to that you know, Sunday game on the road against the San Francisco 49ers, and they just lit them up. So a healthy Cincinnati Bengals team is looking very good, but I am curious uh, it seems like the biggest needs, I saw this on PFF Bengals on Twitter, uh, defensive interior, cornerback, tight end. Um, I think Byron Murphy is going to be a Cincinnati Bengal, but let me know what you're doing. Let me know which position you're drafting in the first round. They're going to have an abundance of options. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on the Cincinnati Bengals upcoming draft. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content, and we will see you soon. Peace.